What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Hogwarts Legacy. And as you guessed it, that's right, you are... You're a wizard, Harry. But only if your name is Harry. It's been developed by Avalanche Software and published by Warner Brothers Interactive, slated for a 2022 release. It's going to be available on all the Xboxes, all the Playstations and PC. And I'm going to admit, I have a guilty pleasure for Harry Potter. I've watched all the movies. I've even watched the Fantastic Beasts as well, apart from still waiting for the next one and i have played previous harry potter titles and i'm sure harry potter fans alike are super excited for this title and as i stress on the channel that variety is the spice of life so that is the reason i am bringing this title to the forefront so the game takes place in the late 1800s so there's no sign of potter here you'll play as a student the player will be allowed to choose their Hogwarts house, attend classes at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, explore an open world consisting of locations including the Forbidden Forest and Hogsmeade Village. The player character will learn to cast various magical spells, brew potions, tame magical beasts and master other combat abilities. And judging from this trailer also play Quidditch. A morality system will play a key role in the game. Players will also be able to customise their character's voice, body type and whether they are a witch or wizard. And we haven't really seen anything else other than this trailer from Hogwarts Legacy. A lot of people are speculating that it will be at the Game Awards. I don't deal with speculation. That's not what we do on the channel. I give you the actual information that is available. And I'm interested in this game. I will be playing this game. Once I see a little bit more in it can actually uh, give me more confirmation that it's a title worth investing in. It's being built on Unreal Engine. I actually thought it was made by Avalanche Studios, which made uh, the Mad Max titles, which was under Warner Brothers as well. As always, Warner Brothers have a lot of titles under their belt. You know, they They've got the Suicide Squad, Gotham Knights, Harry Potter, Gollum. There's a lot under their belt. So they've got multiple titles on the go, which uh, fair play to them. I've always enjoyed Warner Brothers games. So I'm sorry to say that's all the information I have on Hogwarts Legacy until we actually get more information down the line. So if you're interested in being a wizard in the future, don't forget to subscribe for all the Hogwarts Legacy upcoming news in the future. Hit a like for the algorithm. It helps me, helps out the channel. We're still small, still trying to grow. I appreciate you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Always love to hear from you in the comments. Hit a like for the algorithm, helps me, helps out the channel. And subscribe for more gaming news in the future. And until then, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.